Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Hey, and welcome to this uh this month's affiliation knife from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Very cool. You guys know what that means. But if this knife on the table looks very familiar, well, it should. This is the CRKT Compact Tuna, of course, designed by Lucas Burnley. Now, you guys know uh the full size tuna came out. God, was it last year or the year before? But in 2023, they came out with the compact tuna. And I tell you what, it is almost exactly the same as the tuna. Just smaller size. It's the same knife for the most part. And I tell you what, there's going to be one aspect of that almost exactly the same that I'm going to razz them about just a little bit. But anyway, as you can see there, yes, it pretty much is the Tuna just in a smaller size, a G10. If this pretty nice looking, feels like aluminum backspacer lanyard hole there. Got a trying to be deep carry clip. You will have a little bit sticking out of your pocket. Nothing too major there. Frame lock going on that kind of stone washed, black washed ish stainless lock side. I, I like the look of it and I like the pop of color around the pivot collar as well. I think that looks good. That's a good combo that kind of, what do we got there? Kind of bronzish, dark bronze and black. I like that color combo for sure. Uh, nice. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah. Recess screws. Very good. Very good. Now it is only left hand or right handed. Excuse me. I am sorry for my left handed friends. We can make the lanyard fans happy. Unfortunately, we're not going to make our lefty friends happy. So Sorry about that one. But it is recessed into the stainless steel, which that is nice. That's cool. It's nice and flush. Very cool. Got to give them props for that. Dual thumb stud opening. Snaps out there pretty well. It's a decent little dropper. Definitely. Got some decent drop to it. Zoom out just a little bit. It's a little guy, so I had to zoom in on it. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, as you can see, it's definitely a smaller knife. If I, my regular grip, I am, <laughs> I can just, just get four fingers on it. Feels good in hand, though. I love the blade. You know, same as the full size, that nice elongated drop point. Got a nice swedge on it. You got some jimping up there. Uh, really, um, in my normal grip, my thumb is way past that jimping. So, it's, I can still get a, bit of that landing pad up there but it's way past the jimping so it's more or less they're just kind of ah, for looks really <laughs> yeah that's pretty much what it's there for but now let's get our spec check and we'll kind of talk a little bit about the regular or the full size tuna regular i guess full size full size tuna was right about it was just shy of seven i think it was like 7.7 .7. Just shy of seven and three quarters. This one, you're, you're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. It, we're just looking just shy of six and a half. So, I mean, we're easily pretty close to an almost an inch and a half shorter, inch and a quarter for sure. Your handle length, you're looking at it's just over three and a half, probably about three. I ah, will give it three and three quarters between friends. Blade then, you're looking at just about, oh man, almost two and three quarters on your blade length. Full cutting edge, good, good, decent size cutting edge as far as the blade is concerned. In comparison to the blade, I should say. But we're kind of crooked there. My OCD is uh, taking a hold there. Not just an OCD, my OCD. Size comparison with... The PM2, obviously the PM2 is definitely a much bigger knife. Even the bug out is probably going to be a little bit bigger. It definitely is. And of course, I do not have the full size tuna anymore to take a comparison. That's just kind of why I was doing some size comparisons there. Now, the blade length, what did they say? They say 2.73. Okay, on the original tuna, it was... Oh, I closed it down. I believe it was three and three, three and a quarter. Yeah, 
three and a quarter on the blade length at 7.625 overall. So that's a, that's quite a bit of difference. Quite a bit of difference. Let's get a weight on it. Let's do that. This one is weighing in at 2.8. Not bad. Not bad as far as the blade length goes. The original, uh, the full size was 3.7. So it's almost a full ounce lighter, which would make sense. And then, of course, we'll take a look real quick at our carry. So, it is, I mean, there's just a little bit sticking out there. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, forgot to say, yes, this is 8CR13, same as, again, same as the full size with the compact. There you go, Burnley design. You do have a nice stone wash on that blade without blinding you, but definitely looks nice. I like that stone wash. Looks good. CRK doing all right. CRKT doing all right there. Overall, uh, I really liked the tuna. It was probably, I'm trying to think, was it last year or the year before? I'm thinking it was 2021. Um, and to be perfectly honest with you, the tuna was probably one of my favorite designs and knives from CRKT's line that year. It really was. And you know what? This is no different. I really, really like, I, I like how it feels in hand. Um, I can feel this portion of the clip a little bit. Uh, I don't want anybody taking pictures of my hand, but, and giving me crap about it. But anyway, um, inside joke, sorry. Some people will get it. Uh, it's not that bad. I don't really have a too bad of an issue with it. It hits me kind of, it makes a little indent, but it's nothing major. And this one, you know, it hits me right in that crease. So that's really not an issue at all. Yeah, I'm kind of having fun with the whole pocket clip thing. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's small. I can just get four fingers on it in my three and three quarter inch hand. That's pretty much what it looks like as far as the handle is concerned. Go out a little bit more. There we go. Ergonomically, it's not bad. The only issue I have with this knife, and it's the same issue I have with CRKT. And we all know, and I beat the horse, I beat the dead horse. I get it. I know. Um, same materials, same, pretty much everything, just smaller size than the full size. And yet it's the same price as the full size. That's where my issue is. Uh, it's a smaller knife, a considerably smaller knife. We're talking about an inch and a half. Um, in my mind, the price should be smaller too. That's just me. Uh, you guys know, I, I, I talk about CRKT and how they price their 8CR13 knives. Yes, I understand. They got to pay their designers because they work with some of the best designers in the business. I get it. But, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just going to be, uh, that is going to be something that sticks with me uh, for, uh, well, until it changes and it's probably not going to change. So smaller knife, smaller, you get less, you should pay less. That's my opinion. Uh, uh, seriously. Um, if this was a, you know, even 10 bucks less, you can get a full size for about 48. If this was even like 38, below 40, I'd be like, okay, okay, I, I can, I can, I'm in. But that's really my only complaint about the knife. It, it feels good in hand. It's good. It's got a good action. I like the design. Lucas Burnley's got a really good design with the tuna. No real issues whatsoever as far as the operability, the ergos, the build, the design. No issues with that whatsoever. My issue is just kind of how they price their stuff. And that's just the way it's going to be. And it's probably going to be like that for a while. But let me know what you guys think down in the description. What do you think about the compact tuna from CRKT? And like I said, guys, this is our affiliation knife uh, through Smoky Mountain Knife Works for this month. And I probably should have said this in the beginning. I do have a new code. Smoky Mountain Knife Works gave us a coupon code, which is really cool. It's kind of a twofold code. Twofold code. That's what I was trying to say. A two-fold code. Um, not only, it's SMKW Big Red EDC. It'll be down in the description. It's down listed under my coupon codes, but I'll put it in the 
a little higher in the description so you guys can see it. Maybe even pin a comment so you guys can see it. But with that code, you get free shipping. Free shipping with that code, which is cool. It, we finally got coupon codes from SMKW. It's something I know myself, KC, we've kind of been working on for a while. Very cool. But that's kind of also how they're tracking our affiliate stuff now. So definitely use that code because it helps us out, but it helps you out too by getting you some free shipping. So I think that's pretty cool as well. So just wanted to throw that out there. I know I'm going to have to probably uh, tell people here, here and there, but you got a f code for free shipping. So, hey, thanks a lot, SMKW. Very much appreciate you doing that. Not, well, you're not really doing, well, you kind of do it for me. I do orders too, but doing that for our viewers. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the CRKT Compact Tuna designed by Lucas Burnley with me today. As always, you guys are probably going to be seeing some, uh, some content, well, not as always, but you're probably going to be seeing some content from Blade Show Texas um, here real soon. Maybe you might even see some before you see this video. I don't know. Depends on when this posts. But keep your eyes open, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Really looking forward to bringing you guys some stuff from Fort Worth while I'm down there. So now, as always, guys, like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.